website, as you can see, there are two versions, Chinese and English, and there is sign in and sign up and everything. All we need is this demo. This demo is really amazing because it creates faces only from one image and you can keep it like a base mesh for your sculptor or something why it facilitates the process for the sculptors and we may try it on our beloved Andrew Price and as you can see that he's smiling he's always smiling, he's a beautiful guy this uh, kind of tool will keep him it will keep his mouth closed and uh, almost neutral so let's see how it will generate the avatar so all you need to do is just to browse an image and click on this and you have your model quite fast and easy and you don't have to get a neutral face it can be a uh, smiling face but it is better uh, to have a neutral one so you don't have artifacts or non-similarities but I'll just show you how awesome this uh, website is okay getting haircut mesh which is taken here it is really amazing and it creates also the hair mesh as you can see for a pretty good start for um, guiding your hair strands if you are creating a real hair for this and you can also choose the tent and it creates a default tent uh, according to what it has in image but really cool of course these kind of morphing things uh, you can't download that <laughs> I actually tried but when you click download it will say only authorized users can download the model which is not bad okay sign up and when you try to sign up it will get you this all you need to do is just list your email, password, and confirm it, and that's it. Of course, uh, you can create an email that you have access to. It doesn't have to be yours, uh, or you use it frequently. But anyway, this is my email who wants to contact me on anything. And I actually created one. You just sign up, and that's it. So, I will log in with my data, sign in, and it will get you this. You don't have to do anything, just leave this page and return to our demo, which is this. When you click download now, it will download the mode. That's it. Really easy. There is no, uh, there is no need to uh, rank about or <laughs> bothered by the registration process. So unzip this to another folder. So let's go to download and unzip it to Andrew or something. And of course we will use Blender for that process. But it actually works with almost any 3D software that you like. Uh, 3ds Max or anything. So uh, here we go. We will go to Android Price's head and get the model. And of course you can create multiple models. We have created, uh, before we go, you have like three versions this version doesn't work you can't uh, download full body yet maybe in the future they will have this ability but now it is just uh, for demo you can see it online also you can download head 1.2 which we will go with right now till we uh, see the importing process so all you need to do is to go to your scene and delete this and import the head model by going to Wavefront OBJ. Here it is. Quite neat. Here is the model. Of course it doesn't look right, but you have to turn on the material so you can see this weird look. But it is quite easy to solve. All you need to do is to go to shader uh, of this a head because it's just one object and one material you, you don't have to bother yourself about materials but you can uh, isolate eyes and hair you can do that attach the alpha to alpha okay so this will work fine with cycles for now you don't have to set the alpha to something it will work fine but if you want it uh, working in Eevee you need to do this you will go to the shader and go to settings you will find blend mode uh, keep it hashed or blend as, um, either way working fine but blend sometimes as you can see it 
it ruins the, the shape for some reason. But keep it hashed. I actually keep it hashed all the time. That's it. So uh, when you put like a lighting source or anything, it will work very well. But uh, there is kind of shading artifact. All you need to do is to just make it shade smooth and it will be okay. And that's it. This is how to prepare a head model inside Blender, which is a good thing. Uh, next, we will go to the head 1.2 because it seems like it has shoulders and it, it seems more accurate <laughs> as a representation for the image. But it is not actually having a good topology, which is the problem here. So let's download this model and go to the import OBJ. Here it is. And import the 1.2. And as you can see, this is a very fast comparison. It is uh, working differently. It is not working as this one. This has a nice uh, topology, nicer topology, and also separated objects like hair, model, uh, alone, and also eyes. You have the eyes in place. I think this has the eyes also, but as you can see that it has uh, two parts of the face. You have the main face and this face <laughs> which looks weird so um, to correct the topology for this one because it has nicer topology all you need to do is just to right click and it tries to quads in faces mode you go to faces mode like this and tries to quads or press Q and you will have a good topology it is not perfect as you can see that it has some artifacts but it is quite easier to solve rather than this one. This one does have terrible topology, but it is better if you want it as a base mesh sculpt anyway. Support the channel by downloading Cryptix and start earning right now, and you can withdraw Bitcoin, Ethereum, dollars, whatever you like. All you need to do is just register, download, start earning, and that's it. Really simple. And I actually don't take from you anything. I actually earn from Cryptix itself as a website. So you don't have to worry about signing up. It is totally free. But on contrary, you will earn money.